With the action I'm taking today, we will not only give back your voice over the use of this land, we will also restore your access and your enjoyment, Trump said during a speech in Salt Lake City. Public lands will once again be for public use. Because we know that people who are free to use their land and enjoy their land are the people most determined to conserve their land. In a moment reminiscent of Trump's campaign rallies, the Rolling Stones's You Can't Always Get What You Want blasted through the sound system after he signed the proclamations. The Republican president touted the decision as a victory for states' rights and economic development. He has accused his predecessors of undermining the oil and gas industries by blocking off unnecessarily large swathes of land. But critics say the move shows a lack of concern for combating climate change, protecting the environment and preserving America's natural beauty for future generations. Indian tribes say the Bears Ears land includes sites of religious and archaeological importance. Trump argued that residents of Utah know how to take care of their land far better than bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. He said Americans should put their national treasures to great and wonderful use. Your timeless bond with the outdoors should not be replaced with the whims of regulators thousands and thousands of miles away, he said. They don't know your land and truly they don't care for your land like you do. Introducing Trump, Senator Orrin Hatch, R. Utah, said that he had been blindsided by Obama's National Monument designation of Bears Ears, so I asked for Trump's help in fixing this disaster. Without hesitation, he looked at me square in the eye and said, we'll fix it. For the next several months, I worked closely with the President and the White House on a plan to rein in the federal overreach at Bears Ears and the Grand Staircase. Native American communities were outraged by the announcement because several tribes consider Bears Ears sacred. The Hopi, Navajo, Ute, Ute Mountain Ute, and Zuni tribal governments have already organized to save Bears Ears arguing that, at the very least, Trump should have consulted with their tribes. The five tribes that advocated tirelessly to create this monument did so to protect their ancient and modern cultural and spiritual importance, Landreth said. The fact that it is being revoked without any consultation, or even concern, for the tribes is offensive. National Monument